Hello and welcome back. This is the next part and I have no idea what we're doing now. Let's check our things here. Can't do that one, can't do that one. So we need to talk to Therese. All right, great. Let's go talk to Therese at the club, the asylum. That's well, kind of a cheesy cliche, but you pretty much can guess that Therese is a Malkavian. She's a Malk. You can just tell. You know, you know, you know. Good morning or good night, officer. <laughs> am I doing anything? No. No, I am not. Now this game would be kind of cool, um, well, if they were to make a new game based on the World of Darkness, uh, or specifically Vampire. It would be kind of cool if um, they had worked out the notoriety system kind of the way that they do in Oblivion, where your notoriety always stays, and uh, you may you may get... That's where she went up, right? I guess I can't. Is there another way in? Like a vent or something? <laughs> the stairs don't... Go up the stairs. Let's see here. No. The stairs don't... Oh wait, there's a door over there. Oh, it's a bathroom. Um... I seek the daughters of Janice. Janice? What the hell are you talking about? I always do the weird ones. <laughs> the sisters spawned of the two headed god. I don't know. The only sisters around here are Therese and Jeanette. They own the place. They're both upstairs fighting as usual. Why do you need to see them? I guess it's surprising that you don't know anything about Greek mythology. But whatever. Their voices are the mother of my ears. Wow. That doesn't make I sense. I have no idea what you just said. Is she expected you? <clears throat> Jeanette will love the words that I birthed for her. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, I'll let you on up. But you start getting too weird up there, I'll have to come up and escort your pretty little butt on back out on the street. Can you hear me? <laughs> Your blood is thicker than ale brew, or an ale house brew. Farewell. All right. You know, this game would be kind of, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I, I want to play, I'm probably going to play this game all the other clan. Oh. Ooh. I don't know if you could hear that, but they were arguing and it was kind of funny. Um, I don't know if anybody, oh, I don't know if anybody else realized it, but that was the voice of Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. And you must be Therese. And I'm assuming that's Jeanette. Wow, there's um, definitely a clash of decor. With a creepy ass picture in the middle. <laughs> this is a very odd picture. Uh huh. All right. Well, let's talk to you. Get this Please, over with. Come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. 
She's unabashedly scandalous, but <laughs> in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Are you Therese, the dark daughter of Janice? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Call off your conflict with the worm, Dark One. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. I wonder what she would have said to me if I had been a Nosferatu. I don't want to meddle with your madness. Just make a wormy peace. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. <laughs> a haunted house. Huh. <sighs> Speak your quest, Dark One. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Hmm. If you will give, give word to the worm that he is not wanted, I will go. Oh, I fully intend to do so. And You'll you make me believe you. Me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Yeah, fool's gold. I don't believe a word of it, Chica. Then I'm off to the ocean house, or the house on the ocean. <laughs> Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. So unclean. The sewers, huh? Okay. I will do what needs to be done, Dark One. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Uh, then I'm off to the house on the ocean. All right, um... <laughs> All right, so let's go down. Um, I'm not too keen on going to this house of haunts simply because I recall, um, I actually recall watching, I think it was the top 10 scariest moments in video games or something like that. And, um, I think this was in it. Or at least I recall it being in it. Um, so I guess it's pretty, pretty scary. Yay for me. Um, alright, let's go. You know, it's funny. Watching the walkthroughs, um, or the walkthrough that I made for Siren, you would assume that I am a brave woman. It is not so. <laughs> Let me set the record straight. What in the... Why am I... Okay, there we go. Um, it is definitely not... I don't know where I'm going. I guess we're just, um, wandering about... What the heck is that? Oh, I think it's the pipe that clipped through the wall there. I don't know where... Well, there's a gate up there, and I have a key, so that would make sense, right? Is there, like, a rat that I can eat before I go so I can get some blood points up? Actually, I'm gonna go for a rat. Anyway, so you assume that I am a brave woman, but I am not. <laughs> I am definitely not. I have just played Siren so many times trying to figure it out. Because I'm also a very determined woman. Um, trying to figure it out that it, it just became desensitized. There you are. Um, I just became desensitized to all the scariness in it. You know? So it's not very uh, frightening to me. Whereas, I'm sure it's frightening to a lot of people. And, um, wait, I got, okay, I'll go this way. I think it's this way. Um, so yeah, I'm not brave. And I don't like ghosts and, um, corpses. I don't like corpses in real life. I can deal with them in games, just not in real life. <laughs> I have a hard time at funerals. I'm the kind of person who, when they're really freaked out, oh, I'm on the wrong side of the ladder, uh, who, when they're really freaked out, they laugh. 
kind of this uh, creepy nervous laugh. <laughs> so when I go to funerals and um, there's like an open casket, I, I have to repress the laugh. Like, there was one time that I made the laugh and I didn't know that I was doing it and everybody was like glaring at me thinking that I was like a jerk or something. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not a jerk. I well, hang on. Um, we'll go in here first just because I don't really want to go in there yet. And this music is, is very scary. Is there anything like around here? Like, at all? This is... I don't know, for some reason I'm being reminded of the hotel in, um, that they, they live in in Angel. If anybody remembers Angel. I miss Angel and Buffy. I really do. Like, they got really weird toward the end. Oh, well that was, I think, supposed to be scary, but it wasn't scary. Okay, whatever. Uh, anyways, I really miss those shows. I mean, they got weird toward the end, but they were rocking. I still listen to Once More with... <laughs> Once More with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, jump scare is great. <sighs> I still listen to Once More with Feeling whenever I'm feeling it. Feeling the mood. Anyway, I'm a nerd. Whatever. Whatever. This is, uh... Lovely establishment you have here, Therese. I would just torn it down. What? Who is that? Who? He's gone. Shit. Okay, um. What is that jingling noise? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You thought you would fall on me. Ha! Ha! Gotcha. Dang it. Okay, um. Where do I go? <gasps> oh, shoot. I am freaking out already. Ah, uh, what the... What the heck? What is that noise? It's like twanging. What does that mean? What is the... Is it a part of the, like, the music? Is that a person down there? Is, is this a door that's... No, it's boarded up. Um, that was interesting. And, uh, we're gonna... Oh, what's this? What's this? Ocean House Fire, Source of Inferno, Still a Mystery to Officials. That is a gruesome picture to put on the front page. Like, I don't recall them. Is there anything behind me? Ow! What? Was that the bell? You jerks! So I guess they're going to be hurling things at me. What is it, that clattering noise? Ow! So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get things hurled at me. Is there anything down here? Oh, shit. He wants to kill me. Who's he? What the hell? Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> I, okay, um, all these doors are boarded up, and, oh, what the heck is that? Fine then, fine then, be retarded. Are you gonna fall, oh, hello, clock of glowingness. Ow! Bastard. Whoever he is. Grand opening. Santa Monica celebrates the new Ocean House Hotel. Alright, nice. Um, I guess we go up the stairs now. Whoa, what the? What the heck? Where? Where am I? Thank goodness I thought I was in a, a room without any doors or windows. <sighs> elevator. Yes, elevator, please. Please, elevator. No! Oh, no, 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 come on! Oh. I don't like it here. 
I'm clearly in the basement. Ugh, it's locked. Can I lock pick it? Ugh, difficulty freaking eight. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, sh what was she running from? I don't want to look. Oh, good. There's nothing there. Or, oh, bad. There's nothing there. <laughs> um... Am I supposed to follow her? Am I? She went this way. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go in there. There's a red light and I feel like that it's there for a reason. There's nothing. Is there something? No. There's nothing in here. Alright, ow. Okay. Um, is this a way to go? I'm a little afraid. Where is the light coming from? There's like no windows anywhere. It's very quiet. What? Shit, there's walking. Hello? Uh, oh gosh. Ow. You bastard. Quit hurting me. Can we break that? I am a strong, badass vampire. Okay. Um. I don't know, I feel like I don't want to read it. Like something's gonna happen if I pick it up. Hotel help! <laughs> Child severed head found in hotel laundry room. Oh no. Oh gosh, I don't want to go through that door. I don't want to go through any doors anymore. Especially not ones that open creepily. Oh. That was the door that was locked before. Haha! -ha! You ghosts! Haha, -ha! I'm on to you. Okay, um. What way was the laundry room? This way, wasn't it? No, it wasn't that way, was it? This way? Oh. Crap, do you hear that thumping? It stopped. What's that? Oh, please don't let there be a head in there. Oh, good! A boiler room key. What, 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 what? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like... Creepy noises. Well, since this is like the only other door... I guess this is it. The boiler room. Yep. The boiler room. Oh, goody. Goody gumdrops. We get to go downstairs. Further. Down into the basement. Holy crap, what the... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. That was pretty awesome. He disappears the second you go around the corner. Okay, do I do something? Oh, I know something bad's gonna happen. <gasps> Shit. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and um, call it here. So then I will uh, play to that point in the next video.